Do you see how this works? I'm gonna kick the living out of that bitch. Okay, okay. Calm, sir, oh, calm no, down, sir. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, is this Dr. Phil or is this Jerry Springer? To be honest, I'm a little bit scared of the people on this list. Dr. Phil is a crazy show. So as we all know, Dr. Phil is a psychologist and he invites people onto his show in order to help them with their issues and dilemmas. But sometimes he gets a lot more than he bargains for. So how's it going you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing. And this is where we bring you top 10 lists on everything crazy and scary and we've done a lot of Herbal Legends as well. If you guys aren't already subscribed here, what the heck are you guys waiting for? Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, that way as soon as we make videos, you guys will be notified. All right, enough of all that, let's jump right into this one. This is the top 10 shocking Dr. Phil freakouts. Why? Because a lot of you guys requested it. Dr. Phil getting heated brings us to number 10. During this episode, Dr. Phil is trying to mediate a fight between a mother and a child care worker. When Dr. Phil was talking to the worker, the mother interrupted him like a billion times and that's when all hell broke loose. You don't want Dr. Phil being mad at you. Let me please, oh, let me please so, okay, have an intelligent conversation without you two bickering back and forth because I don't want to hear it. I wasn't bickering. I was no, all I, the only is, is that not what happened? I got a yes, rewind that, button that, no, and we that, can damn sure play it back. If you have a high profile mental health professional here advocating okay. for your children to stop an attacker, I would think that would be a time that you just wouldn't want to interject. Okay. You should know better than to interrupt Dr. Phil, especially when he's on your side. She just kept digging her grave deeper and deeper, and Dr. Phil basically handed her a shovel. I just love it when the audience claps and supports Dr. Phil roasting the people on his show. It's like a milder version of Jerry Springer. Now at number 9, we have a guest who was escorted off of the stage. Yeah. I know, that doesn't sound too surprising. Well, this guy actually yelled at Dr. Phil, he moonwalked on the stage and twerked before he was thrown out. I mean, it takes a lot to be thrown out on Dr. Phil. Maybe this guy was a bad twerker and Dr. Phil wasn't having it. It seems to me like he actually got away with a lot, but as we all know, Dr. Phil probably loved it because that means more hits on his YouTube videos and of course on his TV show. And if you guys haven't guessed it by now, obviously I'm talking about Sexy Vegan. If you've never heard of him before, well, you're in for a treat. I am the beautiful vegan messiah. Okay, just wait, that is only a warm up. My mom's a sociopathic piece of I have the highest score in Hot or Not history. I got 9.9 out of 10 after 327 women rated me. Let's see your talent. Let's see your talent, you ugly piece of Okay, stop. Hey, hey, look at me. So the moral of the story here is to stay in school. Don't do drugs and never attempt to do the moonwalk if you can't actually do it because it's insulting Michael Jackson and you're gonna be kicked off the Dr. Phil show. An explosive woman brings us to number eight. What can we do to try to help this? Nothing, leave me the on is what you can do. Okay, whoa, who peed in her cornflakes this morning? It seemed like the producer was only trying to help her, but obviously we don't know the whole story. Sometimes producers try to push people's buttons in order to get them to freak out on camera. Because honestly, if they were actually trying to help them, then why is the camera rolling? Get the camera out of my Hey! Get me out of here! Okay, why don't you shut the up and get me out of here? They literally did the opposite of calm her down. She's so pissed off. It's like they made things a thousand times worse. Okay, Dr. Phil roasts a rude teenager and this brings us to number seven. So it's time to sit back, grab some marshmallows, and let's watch the roast begin. Bailey, how are you? Um, not good. Yeah, why is that? I was told that y'all brought someone here that I explicitly said not to bring. Okay, whoa, 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 this interview just started and she's already giving Dr. Phil some serious cut eye. I mean, relax. Well, as we all know, Dr. Phil doesn't put up with anybody's bull crap, so here is his reaction to that. Would you like to leave? Um. Because you can certainly leave, because nobody tells me who to put on my show, including you. Okay. So, if you don't. That lady clapping in the audience is so proud of Dr. Phil. Well, as the interview goes on, this creepy cyber stalker girl started to get really emotional, and Dr. Phil shut her down really fast. And y'all can oh. laugh at me, it's fine. 
I will be your spectacle. I will be your laughing, laughing spectacle. You can all laugh at me. It's well, fine. you know what? I think we're just going to shut this down because I'm not into all this melodrama and you playing the victim and everything. Dr. Phil was savage before being savage was even a thing. Guest freaks out and walks off stage, and this takes us to number six. If David actually knew oh, no. it was good for him, he would cut all his losses and run. That was probably the shortest guest appearance ever on Dr. Phil. You blink, you missed it. And I love how quiet the studio was and all you can hear was her stomping. Let me out of this door right now. First of um, all, you better get your information straight. David, thanks for being here. That's just super awkward. Why is she so defensive? But wait, there's more. The meltdown actually continued. You guys falsify You know what, what? that's fine, dude. That's fine, I'm telling you right now, Justin. What falsify? Falsify my Ass. I'm telling you guys right now with your false I came on this You know someone is super pissed when they need to take their heels off once someone takes their heels off just go the other way because You don't want to show down with them. Okay moving on a blowout fight punches its way into number five If Lily came to me, I would we never are... do this Mom. to you Snap I have Get off the stage, we're not talking You need anymore. to sit down and listen no. to your daughter. So they were having a heated argument because the daughter feels like her mother is faking illnesses and she's being a terrible mother. So now, when the daughter is calling her out, the mother is clearly being defensive. Do not reject her in this moment Please. where she oh, is no. telling you, you what she ever. is feeling. <clears throat> You Unlike a lot of the other fights we see in Dr. Phil, this one looks very real and I find it hard to watch. I really hope Dr. Phil helped them out and that they were able to work through their issues. But now, coming in at number four, we have an explosive woman. I'm gonna kick the living out of that bitch. Okay, okay. Calm, sir, oh, calm no, down, sir. Whoa, whoa. Okay, holy crap. Is it just me or is anyone else terrified? Let's take a look at a freeze frame of her face. She looks so pissed off and I would never want to get into an argument with her because I think she would claw my eyes out. I don't know what you have on your mind or She's who you mistake. think you are. But that's not happening here. Yeah, you tell her, Dr. Phil. But if you thought her anger was out of control, just wait until you see who comes out of the curtain next. Who the f do you think you are? No, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You, you need to stop right there. You know how I said the first girl would claw my eyes out? Well, she's nothing compared to this girl. And now I'm super uncomfortable, so let's move on. Next up, number three, we have a 14-year-old girl completely freaking out. Get me the f out of this f room. I'm not getting sent the f away. Get me, me out. Me Get, me out. Get 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 me out. I'm not saying in here, though. Apparently this girl is 14 years old, but she's acting like she's six and she was just told that she can't have any more candy You know how they just start to freak out on the ground and stomping their hands and their feet Well, she's freaking out because her parents wants to send her to a turnaround ranch which specializes in teenagers with rage issues. I think it's a pretty appropriate place to send her. But I can kind of see where she's coming from. The producers literally locked her in a room full of cameras and everyone is telling her that she's going to be sent away. I don't know about you guys, but I'd probably act, you know, somewhat with how she acted. I don't know if it's right to corner someone like that, especially when there's three cameras like right in your face. So of course, the cash me outside girl makes it into our list at number Number two. Can't move your phone! Stop! I swear to God, bro, move! Move! Get the out of the room! Yeah, that's a lot of anger for a 13 year old girl. She might be the angriest 13 year old ever who made Dr. Phil famous. And I really hope that camera is water resistant because I'm sure it's really an expensive camera. But as we all know, that's not her only freak out. We can do like a top 10 list Catch Me Outside Girl freak outs for sure. Okay, I feel so bad for this poor camera guy. I mean, he's just trying to make a living and already in a span of less than an hour, he's being yelled at. He had hot water poured on him and now he's being hit with her hand. I hope he gets some extra pay for all of this abuse. But let's go back to Danielle for a second. She was actually sent to a turnaround ranch, but obviously the program didn't help her because she is still misbehaving and getting into trouble. Dr. Phil allows a guest to let loose and this brings us to number one. As we've seen on this list, Dr. Phil is usually pretty quick at shutting people down when they interrupt him or when they're being violent or rude. But for some reason, 
he actually allowed a man to make several threats on his TV show. $11,000 and if I could get my ass to find you, I'd kill you. Do you understand that? I don't understand. Yeah, you <laughs> understand, you sorry you dig me out of $211,000. Okay, what the heck, Dr. Phil? He's actually holding up the microphone to the guy's mouth when he says he was going to kill that person. Is this real life right now? I bet you guys thought I'd make it through the entire video without saying that line, but I, I had to at that moment. Well, we made it to the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.